go for a defeat and a, a difficult one to take? Yeah, no, um, a difficult game, a game for us really. Um, give ourselves a mountain to climb in the first half, conceding the goal so early. Um, and then obviously uh, change the shape halfway through the first half. I just didn't think there was enough uh, appetite really in terms of um, so we changed and, and dropped into a back four and that, that seemed to give us more impetus and finish us half strongly, come out second half, started as we left in the first half and got back into the game. And then it just became um, um, a game, just two teams battling it out really. We had a couple of half efforts, uh, rushed a couple of chances when we got into the final third that I thought we could have showed a bit more composure on. Um, but overall, um, obviously disappointed to lose um, to a goal in the last probably five minutes of the game, five, ten minutes of the game. Um, so that's obviously a disappointment when the ascendancy looked like it was in our favour. Um, it looked like probably a lapse of concentration. I'll have to look back on the goal. Um, the, the supporters was remonstrating that it looked offside. Uh, it looked like he had a lot of space to run into. But um, again, once I look back on it, um, the video evidence will reveal if it's offside or not. You were speaking to the fourth official at the, at, at, at the front. Did he say anything about that decision at all? Because the fans on this side of the lawn street were adamant that, yeah. that the player was offside. Yeah, but that's what the, the linesman have trained for. And he said that um, he was onside, the fellow was. So I have to trust that he's the professional official um, and he's called it. And I believe that he's called it right. He seemed absolutely certain and positive that he called it right. And that's what they're there for, to make those telling decisions and telling calls. And um, he was adamant. So I have to go with the decision that he made. Um, but still with ours, you know, coming up really uh, from a defensive point of view, um, you, you don't stop you play to the whistle and I just thought we was a bit hesitant before we reacted to it um, and the, the actual boy was offside came back on side long week and, and ended up scoring what, what was the winning for them really so a bit disappointed because it's a soft goal to concede from our perspective in terms of the ascendancy with us looking for us to go and score and looking for that winning goal um, and that la last part in the game so what about the concentration and unfortunately we came up short there You mentioned uh, the second half we came out stronger team they were fighting pulled us back into the game once that second goal their second goal goes in and it, it almost kills the atmosphere it, it kills the feeling on the pitch are, are you frustrated with the reaction on the pitch of, of that goal are you looking for that fight to continue or is it a difficult one from a player's point of view when that happens and you feel like you're hard done by yeah I think probably it's more I think um, when they scored a goal late on, there's probably five or six minutes left of injury time and, well, sorry, normal time and then injury time. So you still probably got 10 or 12 minutes to, to get back in the game. But it, it's such a, a, a blow to you but when, when it just seems like at the moment that anything like that seems to be going against the veil. And that was certainly that, that moment because there was moments in, at their end of the pitch where we thought we, the board didn't quite find ki fall kindly to us. Um, or didn't get the rub of the green, but certainly when you look at their effort second half, it was really the, the, the most clear-cut effort, really. They had a couple of chances where they advanced into the box, into wide areas, but we always seemed to have a defending, recovering defender there. So to lose a goal like that was a bit disappointing, um, and it seemed like that was, it seemed to knock the, the stuffing out the boys, really, in terms of, um, you know, probably feeling that they were getting back in the game and then to fall a goal down uh, after putting so much into it second half. Bailey De Pepper and James Plant both missed out. Mm. Um, what were the reasons for those two not making the squad today? Yeah, both. Um, Plante had like a, a muscle injury that we just feel it's just the wear and tear and the demands of the game. Uh, Bailey took a, a knock on Saturday uh, and too much of a bruising on his foot really that he couldn't, um, it impacted and affected his running running style and his running gate, so he wasn't able to make it tonight. So um, two young players that have shown us a, a lot of appetite and, and drive, unfortunately, was missing tonight. So um, we'll assess them with regards to the game on Saturday, um, but both of them weren't able to play tonight. Mentioning the game on Saturday, it's a difficult one against Bolton Wanderers, final two games of the season. Because of the position that we find ourselves in now, does that change the way that you approach the game coming up on Saturday? Well, we know what we've got to do now, you know, with two two remaining games. If we want to take it to the last game of the season uh, here um, against Cambridge, then it's all it's there for all to see what we need to do on Saturday. Um, and that's the way we've got to look at it and we'll approach that game in the right manner, in the right frame of mind, um, because we know after the results to, um, 
tonight and results elsewhere. We know uh, what we've got to do here at Vale. Um, we're still in with the fight. While it, whatever it's mathematical possible, we'll continue to work and continue to fight. It's all about the players recovering now, Dan, and then we get back in here and then we dust ourselves down and, and look forward to another really important game. They're all tough matches, irrespective of who it would have been on Saturday. They're all tough games because of the position that we're in. Um, and we've got to keep together, stay together, because we've got another game on, on Saturday. Um, and we'll see what the game brings us on Saturday in terms of it, but we've got to be right for it.